So we sold our house in Brisbane, Australia. And then I said goodbye to every single human that ever made an impact on my life in the last 33 years. And then I packed up with my ex-husband and my three kids to move to the land of gods, Bali. Now this is my life. Hello and welcome to another exciting YouTube video and episode of the Ladies Up podcast. I am so honoured and grateful to be here. My name is Eva Kasitsky. I am a new paradigm wealth coach and I am here to help guide all of you to the newest paradigm that is slowly coming into our physical reality. It is something that we have slowly been getting downloads for, for quite some time now but a lot of us still aren't making the shift and this is why projectors came to this earth this is why we are the newest human design type this is why we are the guides because we are guiding the world to a new paradigm to a whole new earth and this is work this is this is it's interesting because it's hard work but the new paradigm is all about the embodiment the being and not the doing. And so interestingly enough, most projectors have been down a long road, I know I have, where we were constantly doing, we were constantly hustling, we were constantly copying the narrative that had been given to us from birth, you know, going into school and hustle, 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 doing all these work, doing all these assignments, doing all these tests, doing, 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 doing. And if you've started to really awaken, then you know that it is the biggest deconditioning shift for a projector because we go on this very long journey of, oh my God, I don't know if I'm meant to be hustling, if I'm not meant to be hustling. I know for me, it was one of the hardest shifts I ever made. I was like, they're telling me to be, they're telling me to do. I'm so fucking confused. Is it just the masculine? Is it the feminine? I know I just got so stuck there. But what was actually happening is that I was constantly tuning into everyone else's frequency and not my own. I was constantly getting stuck in everyone else's paradigms and not my own. And the more that I started to pull back from the 3D reality, from the matrix, from the culture scape, from all the belief systems that were not mine, I was able to start seeing that actually I make more money when I'm not doing anything. Actually, I make more money when I'm just having fun. Actually, people are more excited to be around me when I'm just in my joy, when I'm in my bliss, when I'm just playing, when I'm just dancing, when I'm in flow, when I'm moving, when I'm driving, when I'm just being all of me without having to try and impress people, without having to be like everyone else. And it's been this huge deconditioning process which I know you'll find as a human design projector or if you have a human design projector in your life that really needs to hear this message it is about plugging into your own frequency so I'm going to talk about a few things in this video first thing I'm going to talk about is how you can make money as a human design projector and secondly I'm going to talk about why you came here what you've come here to do, what you've been called to do, how you're meant to guide um, to the new paradigm. And if this is all over your head and you're just like, what the fuck is she on about? That's okay. Stay with me. I promise that you will get a few golden nuggets from this and you will get what you need to get to highlight the path and really just get into the next phase of being in your life. So first and foremost, wealth as a human design projector. The funny thing is, as human design projectors, we are so powerful. We are so potent. Our medicine is really about seeing the future, seeing the vision, seeing the gaps in the market that people are not doing and really bringing that to the field. It's like a coach and you all of a sudden have these incredible downloads about how the game needs to be played differently that is that no one else can see. We have this gift and this ability to see like visionaries into the future and and if I'm losing you right now because you're like I've never had that gift that's okay. You're probably still in the deconditioning phase and that's okay too. Wherever you are on this journey, I want you to love yourself and just go I'm exactly where I need to be and everything's working out for me. So I know that for a very long time I was really struggling to make money as a projector and it's because I couldn't see myself. The first and most important thing about being a human design projector is about recognizing yourself, is about being able to see yourself. When you can see yourself, 
other people can see you. When you recognize yourself, other people will recognize you. And so I'd spend years posting and saying these things that I knew were like insanely potent and powerful and incredible, but no one else could see them. It was like I was fucking invisible and I'd put a post out there and everyone was just like, what the fuck is she on about? Like that's not that's not something. And so I'd create a story, me creating stories to try and justify my reality. I'd be like, maybe I'm just too far advanced. They just, they're just not there yet, which technically is a little bit true, but it's also that my energy was repelling them because we have a focused and absorbing aura. And so what actually happens is that if we don't recognize ourselves, if people are not ready to hear our message, then we are going to completely and utterly repel them. And that is okay. We didn't come here for everyone. I know that I came here for the leaders of this world. I didn't come here for the sheep. I didn't come here to try and convince all the sheep to like me. I came here to convince the small group of leaders how we can move into the new paradigm, into the new wealth consciousness um, world that we we live in because wealth is not going to look like it does now in 10, 20 years time, it's going to be a whole new world. So first and foremost, recognize yourself, start to see yourself, start to embody yourself. If you're one of those projectors that cannot look in the mirror and you cannot love yourself, well, you're doing a disservice to the world. And I'm just going to call you out on it. I'm just going to call you out on it because you need to start looking in the mirror at your eyes through the windows of your soul and go, Hey, you, Oh, I said the microphone. I'm like, Hey, you, Hey, you, fuck, you're beautiful. You are so beautiful. My God, I love you. I love you so much. And I know for a long time, because I'd been through such a long, dark soul of the night, I really struggled to do that. But I forced myself every single day. And then eventually this miraculous thing started happening and it started to become natural. It started to become effortless. I started to look at myself and wink at myself and I was like, damn girl, you look amazing. You're so beautiful. You're so charismatic. You're so the light that this world needs to see. And I started to notice my light. I started to notice how bright I shine every single day regardless of who is around me. I started to notice that I smile at every single person that I walk past and that there's something that just goes off inside of them that lights up. And as projectors, we have that ability to see through the other. We have that ability to see them. So we're seeing them on the deepest level that not many other people can see someone. And so if you're not being the lighthouse, you are doing a disservice to the world because the world needs to know that you exist. The world needs to know that there are people in it that are shining the way, that are waking them up from this culture scape of hustle and bustle, nine to five, be dead inside and just go, 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 go. They need to know that there is a light. They need to know that there is a new way of doing things or they will get stuck in this nine to five reality and die um, at 65. They're like, oh, you know, you get heaps of time when you retire. You don't. I'm just going to put this out there, but we're meant to live like we're retired every day. Oh, that was deep. I've been living like that for some time now and I love it. And that is what lights my soul on fire. I'm here right now. This doesn't feel like work. I'm just being, I'm being all of me. I don't have a script. I just have a topic in my head and I just let it flow out the way that it needs to flow out. There's no way that it needs to be anything other than what it is because I am just the vessel. I'm the transmitter. I am the light that just delivers the message in the most beautiful, most potent way. And it lights me up to do that because I'm just a clear channel. I don't get in my head about what needs to come out, how I need to say it. Oh my gosh, did I sing weirdly in that moment? Did I say um too many times? I don't give a fuck. I do not care because I'm here to just be me. I'm here to be all of me without judgment, without criticism, without discomfort. I'm here to be in my truth of all that I am. And isn't that beautiful? And you're here to be in the truth of all that you are. And isn't that phenomenal? And I trust in my heart of hearts that everything that I am saying is going to go to the right people in the world. I trust in my heart of hearts that everything that I'm saying is landing in the way that it needs to land so that something within you wakes up. Something within you wakes up and you start realizing that you are wealth. You are wealth. You have always been wealth. You're not acquiring wealth. You're just deleting everything that doesn't serve you. Instead of trying to make it happen, make it welcome grew inward. It's like the arrow, grew inward, clean up your psyche, clean up any 
junk in your psyche that tells you that you cannot have a seven figure month. Oh, goosebumps. Clean up anything in your psyche that makes you feel like it cannot be that easy. Clean up anything in your psyche that tells you that you have to wake up for a job that you hate to make money. And this is said and done so many times. We often tell people like, oh, just be careful when you go to quit that job. You know, just just be careful. You know, you need money behind you. And I'm really just going to throw this out there really deeply. And it's this. If you quit your job and you end up broke and you have nothing, then you have to love that because that is the most beautiful place you could ever be. Because what's happening is the law of polarity is set in motion and you've got to reach that that rock. You've got to reach the end of the polarity of money because money's just one pole. We've got no money and we've got all the money. We've got fear, lack and scarcity and we've got insane abundance, two different spectrums. If you hit fear, lack and scarcity, broke homelessness, I've been there. You sit there and you love it. You sit there in that pain and that discomfort because you've manifested that based on all of the beliefs that were passed down through generations and generations and generations and you love the shit out of that. You love that so much and the joy in that is that that was part of your journey and through loving hitting rock bottom, then you can become so wealthy. Then you can projectile into being wealthy because the reality is the reason that your reality looks like it does now is because you spent more time putting petrol on the belief system that you can't have it, that it has to be hard, that you have to be broke, that it, you don't, you're not able to pay your bills with love and joy and feeling good about it. You're not able to live a life of just pure and insane bliss. And so a lot of coaches will say, you know, just, just be careful, just, um, you know, get be safe, you know, set up all your money and I've always been the opposite and I'm not here telling you what to do. I'm here saying be right for you. Tune into your intuition. I cannot tell you what to do. But I do know that if you're playing it safe, you're never going to learn. You're never going to grow. I would always rather be broke, homeless, have nothing than have never jumped into the deep end, than have always tried to play it safe. Because you know what happens when you hit rock bottom? You learn lessons that you never ever fucking learn when you're playing it safe and so if you're in a hard place I think it's really important to know that if it's not making you happy it's keeping you stuck because the truth of the matter is that if you go to work every day and you absolutely hate your job then that is a vibration that is being sustained and that is a life that you're going to keep manifesting and especially being a projector if you're overworking and doing and doing and doing and doing, you're so fucking far out of alignment that it's not even funny. You're just completely out of alignment because you didn't come here to be the doer. You came here to bring in this new wealth paradigm to the world, this new way of being that the world hasn't seen before, that the world's still getting shooken up by. More and more people are waking up to this new paradigm and leaving their nine to five But the thing is, you are the guide. You are the leader. You are the fucking lion that needs to bring this into play. And if you're at a nine to five job and you're like, I don't know why the hell my soul chose me to be a guide of this new age paradigm. Well, you're not stepping in. You're not being all that you came here to be. And maybe this video is just the first seed to plant and maybe you need to go and work at your shitty job for another couple of years or have a business that you really, really, really doesn't light you up. I don't know where you're at right now. But wherever you are, maybe you are a leader in your space and it's still not lighting you up because you're working too hard. You're working way too hard. So I ask you to lean into the being more than the doing the few things that I discussed about the wealth for projectors is to be more than do is to recognize yourself truly and utterly recognize you 
and people will recognize you. See yourself before others can see you. Be aware of why you came here. Know that you came here to see a future vision that not many other people can see. Know that all of your ideas that you've had and all the downloads and all the things that have kept you where you are or have brought you to this moment, they're all true. You might have thought you were crazy, you're not. You might have thought you were an outcast, you're not. You're bringing something new to this world that has never been seen before. You're exactly where you need to be. So start recognizing yourself, start loving money, start loving yourself more than enough so that you can bring in this new element, so that you can bring in more love and more abundance and more truth because you came here for a big life. So step in. I hope you guys got so much out of today's podcast episode. If you did, please make sure that you give us a five-star review and share it with a friend. And if you loved the YouTube video, please make sure you give us a thumbs up, click the bell and subscribe to be notified of more Ladies Up YouTube videos. If you have any questions or comments below, please, um, yeah, share them. Have an epic day, gorgeous soul. I'm so honored and grateful to be here to serve you. So much love.